Hello. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over how you can create a headless WooCommerce store using Nuxt and a handy dandy template that's been worked on by a developer called Scott Kennedy, who's been building something called WooNuxt. Now, if you haven't heard what WooNuxt is before, basically it allows us to leapfrog the process, utilize a whole host of stuff that's already been configured for us, things like carts, user dashboards, GraphQL queries, and basically just allow us to get set up and spun up as quickly as possible without having to reinvent the wheel. So awesome job. Thank you very much, Scott. Okay, so step number one is we need to get a WordPress website or WooCommerce website spun up. Now I'm gonna use Cloudways, which just happens to be the sponsor of this video. And I use them pretty much for all of my PHP or WordPress orientated builds because they offer a ton of performance right out the box, ability to configure my own servers to my specifications, and most importantly for me, fantastic technical support. So if you're looking for a hosting provider in 2024, I couldn't recommend them highly enough. And to help you out in the description below, there's a handy dandy 25% discount off your first two months, should you decide to, to use them. You won't regret it, so yeah, get going. Okay, so here we are, I'm in my dashboard and I'm gonna go and set up a new server specifically for this. Now, because I'm doing this as a tutorial, I'm not gonna pay for the most expensive server out there, but you're gonna need to choose one that's relevant for your particular business. So if you're getting a lot of traffic and you expect to be having quite a lot of concurrent load, then you'll obviously need something a little bit more beefy in order to kind of serve that. All right, so let's go in here. We're just going to add a server. I'm going to select the application. I'm just going to choose a WooCommerce one and we're just going to call this one WooNuxt tutorial and we'll give the server name of alternate test. Okay, so now we've got a choice between the different servers that we want. I'm just gonna go with the digital ocean one. And as I said before, because I'm not using this in a production environment, I'm gonna dial the spec down uh, just because I don't need the beefiness. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop it all the way down. All right, what I'll do now is just go and I'll choose the location and hit launch. Okay, so now we have our test. It's starting to add the server and we will get going with the next step once that's all ready to go. Okay, so that's it. Our server and our app WooCommerce application are all set up and ready to go, configured for us by Cloudway, so thanks very much. But now what we need to do is just go in there, add some custom data, and also load up a plugin from the WooNux guys in order to get everything kind of working pretty much easily. It just helps us with the settings. Okay, so we'll head on over into our applications, go into our website that you've just created, click on our admin panel, and then we're just gonna enter in our username and password. Hit login and here we are. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just go to products and we will just start an import. Now, if you wanna follow along and utilize the sample data, all you need to do is just head on over to WooCommerce, go to the installation updating section and then the documentation and you can just re-download the plugin and it'll come across with some sample data that we can use. Okay, so let's get this installed. So what we'll do is we'll just go here, we'll say choose a file and then I'm just gonna choose the product CSV. Click on that and just hit continue. So we'll just say run the importer. Okay, so once the products are done, we can view our products and ta-da, we have a whole host of products that are ready to go. Okay, so once our products are installed, now what you would wanna do is just basically go and just configure your WooCommerce settings to make sure everything's working. And more importantly, making sure that you've configured a payment gateway. And it has to be one of the supported three, which for WooNuxt, it is Stripe, PayPal, and cash on delivery. So I've gone ahead and I've gone and added Stripe. So if you just go to like your settings, for example, and if you click on payments, you'll see here I've added Stripe. All right, so the next up, what we need to do is install a special application that's created by the WooNux team. And basically what it allows us to do is quickly configure the WooCommerce store to work perfectly with our Nuxt build. So we'll head on over to the WooNux website and we'll just scroll down here. You can read this and see all the features and benefits. And then there's just this download link here for the WooNux settings. So we'll just click on that, it'll download, and we'll just basically install it like you would any other WordPress plugin. So we'll just quickly knock that out. Okay, so now the plugin's installed. We're just gonna go to the settings. And now this plugin does a lot of the heavy lifting for us in terms of configuration. And it'll tell us what plugins we need. It takes a lot of the, of the workload out. So as you can see, we've got a, an update. So we'll just update the plugin. And then as you can see here, we've got these required plugins that we need to install. So just go through and install the ones that you're missing. Okay, so once it's fully installed and you re refresh the page, you're gonna get this configuration settings. And it's quite handy because it actually tells you what steps that you need to go 
into these different plugins and basically configure the various different pieces. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna open up a window on the side here and then just go through and quickly configure these as well. Okay, so the first one we just need to do is scroll down to the bottom, click enable public introspection, we hit save. Now we need to do our cause policy one. We will head on over into here, check this first one. Now this one here allows us to authorize the various different domains. Now, because we haven't set up a repository yet with our front end code, we can't do that particular one yet, but we are gonna have to come back here in a little while. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the documentation. We're gonna add in our, our local host one. So the next thing we need to do is click send site credentials and then just enable the login and logout mutations. So hit save. All right, now if we go and we refresh this, we should see that all of our settings are ticked and good to go. So now all we need to do is we need to deploy and we're gonna go through that step shortly. Okay, in terms of the other settings that you've got in this in this plugin, you can add in your site logo, which will appear where in the various different UI elements. You've got a front end URL, which is what we will configure as our final destination URL, and you can change your primary colors and whatnot. This build hook URL, you can get that from the Netlify or Vercel, and basically what it does is allows you to trigger a deployment inside the WooCommerce application if needed. All right, so next up, we're gonna start to do the deployment, and uh, we're not gonna use these links because they can be a little bit finicky. I've basically, I've had some troubles with the Netlify in terms of images and this deploy Vercel goes to a wrong repository. So we're gonna do a manual version and I'll take you through that, how we do that now. So head on over into the Woonuxt repository and we're just gonna fork this. We're gonna call it Woonuxt alternate tutorial and we will just create the fork. Okay, so now we have that. Now we can go into Vercel, click import. We're gonna find our new repository, hit import, and it pretty much starts to set things up. Now there's something we need to do is we have to set our environment variables. And if you are using one of these click to deploy things, they will try and do it automatically for you. But as I said, I had a few issues, so I found this to be the easiest way to get everything to work. Okay, so the environment variables that we need are GQL host, and the value will be your GraphQL value, we go into here, we go into our GraphQL again, and we go into here, and then you click on your settings, you can grab that particular URL, head into here, and you can plop it in there. Okay, we can hit add. The next environment variable we need is Nuxt image domains. So we'll just plop that in there. And this is the same URL that you just copied, except it doesn't have the trailing slash or the GraphQL query slash at the end, and it does not have HTTPS. So hit add and then we're good. All right, so now all we need to do is just hit that magic deploy button and wait for it to do its thing. Okay, so now we have our new website deployed, but there's one final thing we need to configure. And if you remember in the beginning of the tutorial, I mentioned that we need to make sure that we are updating the cause URL. So if we click on this, go in there, we grab that, come back here, plop it underneath, get rid of that trailing slash and hit save. Okay, so now if we click through and look through our lovely new WooCommerce powered headless Nux. We can see that we get all of our nice data coming through from the store. And if we go to the products archive, we get a nice filtering UI. And then if we click into one of these, we get our, our products and we can add to cart. And uh, yeah, go to check out. Okay, and with that, that's the end of the video. So if you'd like to see me start customizing this up and having a play with how it looks, then let me know in the comments below. Catch you later and thanks a lot. Cheers, bye.